there, internet! It's Nickity, and today's video is going to be a makeup collection video! You excited? I'm excited because I love watching these videos, and today I thought I'd make my own. So I hope that you guys enjoy, and just a quick disclaimer, because I feel like everyone needs to have this in their video, is that I'm not trying to brag about how much makeup I have. I really do not have that much makeup in comparison to um, other YouTube makeup collection videos that I've seen here on YouTube. Granted, I still do have way more makeup than is necessary, but it's not excessive. At least I don't think it's excessive. Maybe you guys do. But anyways, uh, long story short, I'm not trying to brag. And I hope that you guys enjoy this video. So uh, without further ado, my makeup collection. Let's go. So here is an overview of my makeup collection. And it is stored in my closet, as you can tell by the doors. Um, and I don't know why I store my makeup in the closet. I just always have. I think that it's good, like place to store it in terms of like saving space but yeah I don't know I just I literally stand here and do my makeup which is kind of weird since I'm facing the closet but anyways that's where I keep my makeup so this little plastic bin is from Ikea and in here I just keep basically skincare products um, I have my morning moisturizer my Murad oil mattifier um, my retin-a which is prescription and eye cream then I've got Cetaphil, which I love, and then another prescription um, product. This is spot treatment. And my beloved Bioderma. And then some Claire's Ear Antiseptic, which I haven't gotten my ears pierced for a year and a half, so that's kind of unnecessary. But um, And then I've also got Neosporin and Acora's Lip Butter by Zine, and just some like sample bottles. And then Q-tips and cotton balls, which are super interesting. And then some flossing stuff in the back here. Fascinating. And of course, hand sanitizer, if you didn't notice. Um, and then you move over here, which is where I have brushes, as well as some of my everyday products that I reach for all the time. So in this back thing, it's just, it's from Ross. It's this little three compartment thing. And in this first compartment, I have these little beads. Um, which are just little hearts, and they're from Target. And then I keep my eye brushes in there, which are mostly real techniques. There's also Eco Tools and some Clinique. Um, yeah, but mostly real techniques. That's mostly what I use. And then my face brushes, which again are mostly real techniques, but I also have one from e.l.f. and Eco Tools. So yeah. And then in this back corner, I just have some sort of random tall products that I could stick back there. So I've got some mascaras, another mascara, uh, my NARS eye primer, and my eyebrow gel, which is almost empty. And then I just have this box, which I duct taped with zebra duct tape to make it a little cuter. And in this box, I just have my everyday face products. So I have some concealer from Sydney Kesha, um, my stuff that I use to fill in my eyebrows, my Garnier BB Cream, a little Benefit Watts Up sample, and oh, there's this other Garnier under eye concealer. And then I have this little box or bucket, what is it? A cup, it's a cup. And it was from Colorado, my sister got it for me. She brought back chocolate rocks for me, which was awesome. And I decided to put my eyeliners in there. So most of these are from Rimmel. I feel like I have way too many eyeliners. Um, yeah, I just have some from Rimmel. I have some bigger crayons that are from Rimmel. Um, I got some... Oh no, that's Rimmel too. I know I have some NYX in here though. Somewhere. Um, and some Revlon. Yeah, here's one from Revlon. And... Oh, here's one from NYX. I don't only have Rimmel. But that's definitely the majority. And then out in the front I have some products that I try to like put away in the basket but they just I always end up bringing them out because I use them so much and it's my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and my Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Exposed and a little powder puff for the Rimmel Stay Matte. And then over here in the corner I just have some palettes. I don't have that many. I just have the Urban Decay Original Naked Palette, or, uh, my The Balm Shady Lady Palette. And a palette from Sony Kashuk. And then over here, I have this awesome container thingamabob, which is from Lowe's. And it's pretty old, so it's kind of dirty, not too white anymore, leaning on beige. But, anyways, in this top little flap thing, I have 
my Maybelline color tattoos in here as well as some like Benefit um, Creaseless Cream Shadows. I think these two are Benefit and then the rest are Maybelline. And then two more NYX Nude Matte Shadows. I have one in my little everyday box. And then an Urban Decay Primer Potion sample and some Physicians Formula Gel Eyeliners in the very back there. And then in this next drawer, I just have um, my little eyeshadow palettes and quads and things. So I've got this little one from Estee Lauder, this one from Estee Lauder 2, and a bunch of Clinique um, sort of sample size palettes because my grandma um, always gets the samples when she buys her makeup from Clinique. So she gives my sister and I so many like Clinique sample things. So you'll see a lot of those. Um, but then I've also got like Wet n Wild and Essence, what is this, CoverGirl way down there, ELF, but it's mostly Clinique sample palettes. And then down in the bottom here, I just have some like face paint and glitter, which obviously I do not use that much. Um, and then some puffs and sponges and cotton balls that I just keep tucked away there. And then in this next compartment, which is from Target, um, I have my lip products in this first drawer. It's nice that I can take the drawers out. And they are mostly Clinique. Um, also some Rimmel and NYX and Revlon. But yeah, it's mostly Clinique. And this next drawer is easily my favorite drawer. I have all my blushes in here and a couple bronzers, but I'm more into blush. And I have one from NARS and Benefit, NYX, um, Milani, Physicians Formula, Estee Lauder, NYC. Yeah, I'm. This it kind of looks like a lot of blush, but I've actually just gotten rid of a lot of it. Um, but I, I love blush so much. And then this next drawer is face products, and these are the face products that I don't use as consistently. So I've got Cotty Airspun Powder, this big orange thing, and Palladio Powder, some Tarte samples, Physicians Formula. Um, NYX, uh, Makeup Forever Full Cover over in the corner by my thumb, creepily trying to show you where it is. Oh. Um, and then Revlon Color Stay and Neutrogena. So yeah, that is my last makeup drawer. Then up here I just have this random like bowl with a bunch of crap and two eyelash curlers. And then I have this little basket in the back which just has more skincare products in there. I've got some makeup wipes, a toner, um, my Clean Helene Mid Julep Mask, sunscreen, um, Lorac Pose F. Claire Duo, um, more sunscreen, what is this, Stridex, and then stuff for my prescriptions. So that's in the back of there. So here's just one last overview of my little makeup area, complete with a collage to make it cuter. And up above you can see some of my hair products and perfumes and things, and yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. It means a lot to me if you watch this video or liked this video or anything of that nature. Um, it means a lot to me because obviously I am not very popular yet, keyword yet, um, here on YouTube. So uh, thank you, and I will see you next time if you come back. Please do. Please do. Anyways, bye!